So a lot of people ask me uh, about my engine dyno and how it works and what's inside. So I thought I'd make a short video and show you what is actually inside. This is the rotor here. Those pockets are about a half of an inch deep. It's six inches in diameter. And you'll notice that there's 13 pockets on this one and 12 pockets on that one. That's important so that the thing doesn't vibrate while it's running. It's an inch and a quarter thick. It has water pump seals on both sides, here and here, to keep the water inside and keep it from destroying the bearings. The other half of the water pump seal is here. You can see it's a ceramic seal you can get on McMaster car. And then there's a bearing on this side. This one's exactly the same as these two are the same. So this is the part that the seal actually goes into here. And the bearing goes on the other side, such as there. This is a piece of aluminum pipe that cut off, turned down the lathe, squared it up, 1032 screws. I think it's a half inch wall thickness. I think this thing is about seven or so inches in diameter, seven and a half. It's like about seven and a half inches in diameter. This, uh, the rotor here is pressed on the shaft. So I put a straight neural in there. There's probably about 4 thousandths press fit, which is probably too much. But it went on there and it's never coming off. So I made these parts with a CNC router. So you can see all the tooling marks. It's not a great finish. If I had to do this over again, I wouldn't make these pockets so deep. These are about a half of an inch deep. I think maybe 3 eighths deep would be more than enough. And if you can, put a fillet in the bottom of the pocket, that would help. Also notice there's two pipe fittings here and here. One of these is a water inlet and the other one is a vent. You have to have the vent so that the thing will drain as you put water into it and you turn the water valve off. Uh, if you don't have a vent, it'll more or less just stay in there until it seeps out. What else? Uh, there's a drain in the bottom of the case here. And I put a, uh, a valve on there, a gate valve, and then you can adjust how much, how the water leaves the brake, the volume of water leaving by turning on your gate valve and turn the packing nut down nice and tight so that the valve actually stays in position. If you have the valve too closed, it'll be, uh, really lazy to respond so you open the water valve and you close the water valve and there won't be a big change in the loading of the motor if you have it too far open then it's really hard to actually load the motor down so you'll have to find a sweet spot in between so that's about it uh, I don't have any part numbers or drawings or anything like that what you see is more or less what you get thanks for watching